We're talking today with Craig Watkins, Associate Professor of Radio, TV, and Film at the University of Texas at Austin. He's also a member of the MacArthur Foundation's Connected Learning Research Network. And we're talking about DML 2013, which is focused this year on democratic futures, mobilizing voices, and remixing youth participation. So, Craig, why this thematic focus on civic participation this year? Well, I think for uh, a number of reasons, Howard, and I'll just uh, allude quickly to, to maybe a couple of them. Um, you know, obviously, uh, 2012 is a, is a big uh, year in terms of a presidential election. So there's a lot of conversation, a lot of discussion about young people, to what extent will they be involved, to what extent do they care about what's at stake. And, you know, this is consistent with a narrative that typically uh, circulates about young people being politically uh, apathetic and not engaged, when in fact the data and the research show that young people have become increasingly engaged, increasingly involved, uh, both in electoral politics, but more importantly, um, community uh, service, uh, volunteerism. And so I think this conference is an opportunity uh, for the DML community uh, to really help to, to complicate the narrative uh, that young people are disengaged, that young people do not participate, uh, and really to sort of uh, provide, if you will, evidence, examples, models of the ways in which youth activism in this country and certainly around the world are quite robust. Uh, the other thing um, is, uh, from the very beginning of the DML initiative, uh, there has been and continues to be uh, an interest in young people as uh, participants in civic life. And so even as we hear so much about technology today and digital media and learning and innovation, so much of that conversation tends to pivot around or, or focus on issues related to the economy, to jobs, equipping uh, young people with the, with the skills to be productive citizens in this kind of ever-evolving economic world. And while we certainly understand the importance of those, uh, those elements, we also understand that there are other things that are equally important, and that is the ways in which young people develop their civic identities, the kinds of civic communities and practices that they're connected to and participate in. And so DML from the very beginning has understood that young people's civic lives and their civic selves are worth investing in, worth developing, worth supporting, and we want to bring together a community that understands that, recognizes that, uh, and offers some insights and examples and models of how we can continue to build uh, democratic futures. Um, how are local and global initiatives challenging the civic opportunity gap by investing in, in opportunities that, that, that remake uh, participation uh, in civic and public life. Um. Yeah, it's a it's, it's a great question, and and we know from from some of the research of, of, our, of our colleagues in DML and beyond that there tends to be a, kind of a civic opportunity gap. Uh, that is a reference to um, the opportunities that sh some young people have to participate in their communities, to get involved in, in sort of civic and public life, uh, whereas other young people, those opportunities are not quite as, uh, as prominent, uh, not quite as accessible. And so, you know, part of our challenge, both in this country and around the world, is to support the ability of all young people, of a diverse uh, community of young people, to be able to express uh, their visions for a, a more equitable future, to express their vision uh, for a life in which people are free, a life in which people are able to pursue their aspirations and their dreams and live in harmony. And so we see um, both, uh, I mean, I think part of what DML will, will attempt to do is to spotlight uh, those who sort of see the civic opportunity gap as an opportunity. Uh, to, in fact, engage young people who typically have been marginalized from the political processes, from volunteering and participating in their communities. And so in that regard, uh, we know that there are people out there, there are forces out there, there are organizations out there that are really charting a new path for all kinds of young people, bringing young people into the political conversation, bringing young people into the political mix, if you will, and enabling them through popular culture, enabling them through music, enabling them through a variety of entry points to, again, identify uh, the issues that challenge our communities, but also beginning to develop the skills, uh, the repertoire, uh, and the ability to be change agents in their communities. And so in this sense, we're looking to see um, you know, young people from all over the world, certainly young people from this country, uh, visible at DML 2013, and really sort of articulating and sharing, if you will, their stories about how they are engaging in civic life, and in some ways challenging this notion of the civic opportunity gap. 
Wonderful. Uh, what role do you see schools, teachers, and, and civic educators playing in this uh, initiative that DML 2013 is, is kicking off? When we see teachers along with designers, along with practitioners, along with researchers, along with, with activists, uh, as absolutely vital. Uh, to DML 2013. And in fact, we cannot imagine having this conference, we cannot imagine having this gathering and this conversation without teachers and educators being prominently present in our program, being prominently involved in our program. Because we know, right, when we think about uh, young people in civic life, when we think about young people in civic identity, uh, that schools, right, are, are absolutely crucial. Uh, they're absolutely um, uh, very necessary in terms of developing the opportunities, in terms of providing young people, if you will, or affording young people, if you will, uh, the opportunity to begin to experience what it, what, it, what it means to be an active citizen. So what we hope, right, is to bring teachers and to bring educators who are in some ways kind of on the cutting edge of this question and really beginning to rethink civic education, not simply as a matter of kind of memorizing historical facts related to civic life, uh, but in addition to that, kind of expanding the repertoire of civic education to include participation, expanding the repertoire of civic education uh, to empower young people to sort of use the resources of the schools and, their, and of their communities and of their peers to really be change agents and to see what that feels like. So we think schools are, are not only places where kids should learn about civic education through books, through facts, and through memorization, but they should also, schools should be a laboratory. Therefore, kids should learn by doing. Kids should learn by experiencing in more authentic ways what it means to be a citizen, what it means to be civically engaged. And so we hope uh, that we will be able to bring teachers, bring educators, uh, administrators who share this vision, uh, who share this idea, this notion of democratic futures, and the absolute critical role uh, that schools will play in creating a new sustainable democratic and equitable futures. Wonderful. Thank, thank you, Craig, for a positive vision uh, for what ought to be an exciting conversation. We're looking forward to it and uh, can't wait to get the proposals and to see what happens in 2013. Bye-bye. Okay.